Hi, welcome back. Um, today I only have 20 minutes to film, so let's just get into it. Today I'm gonna be um, walking you through my like five to 10 minute minimal makeup routine. And I recently shot my stash well, I, I guess I should say I shop my stash about every week or so just so I can use all of the products in my collection and get good use out of them. So the following products I find work really well together for a very quick, easy, minimal look that you can use in different areas of your face. And so they're, you know, utilitarian and efficient and they just get the job done. So without further ado, let's just get into it. First, I'm gonna be taking my Armani Beauty Fluid Sheer, the Glow Enhancer. This is a relatively new product um, at Sephora, but it's not a new product to me because I've recently purchased this from Armani. Um, I have the shade two, which I believe is like a rosy champagne color. But as you see, it's very, very sheer. There are different colors in this that some people have been using more like glowy blushes, but I like this the best underneath makeup because I find that it just enhances my skin to a whole new level. I like to take about two pumps of this and distribute them evenly along the face. And I also like to take it like under the eyes because the light reflecting from this product underneath your um, like foundation or concealer or whatever you use as your base product for minimal makeup, you'll end up using less product, thus making your routine faster and more efficient. Next product is my NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I have this in the shade Thinland. And what's really nice about this, like I already have SPF on, but this has SPF in it, so it just adds on that little extra protection. And this is a really beautiful product to either make matte, natural, or glowy. Um, it has kind of like a natural glowy finish. It's not so emollient that it'll, it'll get slimy on your face or pill or break up in any sort of way if you do choose to make it more glowy. Um, and I find that you can easily spread this out with your fingers, a sponge, or a brush. It's very versatile in that way. Um, and that's what makes it a, a years-long favorite. Like, I would say probably going on seven years now, this has been always in my makeup bag. Okay, so that is the base done. So as you can see, my redness is still peeking through. There's, I have a little bit of like blemishes here and there, but honestly for these like natural quick looks, I don't really worry about them. And I think like once you have other makeup on your face, it really all pulls together and looks really natural. So to continue on, um, I like to take a bronzer that never gives me any type of grief, that you can basically just whack it on and it's done you know and so my favorite bronzer to use is the victoria beckham bronzing brick i use this in the shade two and i'm going to use a really big brush to just pat this all over you know how some bronzers like you really have to take the time to make sure they're blended out or they can get kind of like splotchy or cling to more dewy areas to your skin this doesn't do that because it goes on in these very like thin veils of color and it's virtually mistake proof. And I think the colors are just so like elegant and natural. I have to really like concentrate up here by my hairline because I oiled my hair and it dripped down my forehead and it got in my eyes and it was a whole thing, it was a whole thing. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna stick right here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's looking fine. Okay, so Look how easy and fast that was. That was real time. No speed ups. Look in the viewfinder here. And you can keep it there. Like if you're real late, you could just be like, okay, this is me guys. And so I'm just gonna take that a little bit onto my eyeballs here with the same brush. And this will make it very natural looking and diffused. And then a little bit on my nose. So I felt like I was neglecting my uh, Le Fille and Rouge palettes. And so I grabbed both of those for this look. 
and I just haven't been really able to uh, put them down. And I fell back in love again, essentially. So I'm first gonna go in with the La Palette Visage. It's the Face Palette by Le Fille and Rouge, and I'm gonna take this middle highlight. Now these aren't like the most wet looking, like post facial looking kind of balmy highlights. These have a pigment to them, but the base on these highlights are pretty translucent. So I feel like it's gonna be good for a number of skin tones and you get a pink, a champagne, and kind of like this like bronzy, kind of purple leaning one. It's very beautiful. Um, and I use all three in different ways. And you also get these blushes down here, but I like these shades more for summertime. So I'm gonna go in with a different rouge product for my blush and my lips. So I like to take this color all the way up my cheekbone. And you could stop there. I also like to go in with this kind of um, pinky one and then put it at the tippy top and then into my brow bone over here. And that just kind of like sends it. Gives it a little bit more oomph and then taking that same color onto my nose. It's so fast, it's so easy. It's a very, very lovely palette. And the blush formulas in this too are really nice on both the face and the lips. So for the eyes, I'm gonna take the bronzy color and put that on top of the bronzer that I applied earlier. Just a little bit. You don't want too much on the lid with this product because it is pretty emollient, so if you put too much on, it can slide around and look a little creasy. So with this look, less is definitely more. And this just adds like a little extra something, a little extra shadow, a little extra shine. It just looks like your skin looks really good. I'm to put a lip balm on. I'm gonna take this Ilia Lip Wrap. Just a little bit. Because my lips are a little dry right now. Okay, so for my blush and my lips, I'm gonna go in with the Rouge Lip Palette. This is in the shade Signature. Yeah, Le Palette Le Vue. Le, Le Vue? In this uh, color story Signature, and you get a really beautiful quad of colors. You get like a berry, a mauve, a kind of like nudie mauve and then a cool tone red. All stunning. I love to mix and match these. They're just great. They are kind of like a, oh, like a cream to powder thing. I have a video like really reviewing all of these products in depth. Um, I actually have a couple, so I'll link them down in the description box um, if you wanna explore more about like fancy French brands with makeup. Um, but anyways, uh, right now, currently, since I am more fair, I like to take these two mixed together for both the lips and the cheeks. So I'm gonna start with the top one, the more like nudie one, and tap over that highlighter and then take the more, um, this one's like a, a mauve and pat that in as well. Taking a brush, I'm just gonna pat this in, and this blends out so easily, so quickly. It truly is like both a lip and a cheek product. It's just so good. This is also the kind of oldest trick in the book for a minimal makeup bag by using uh, your lip product on your cheeks. Just take a little bit onto the forehead. Okay, and for lips, I'm taking the same two colors, starting with the more nude one, and really like pressing it into my lips. Since this is um, a matte formula, I do like to put on a lip balm beforehand, just to add a little bit more moisture. But otherwise, these are, they always blend out in this very like very soft, matte, powdery, velvety way. And then taking that mauve color just in the middle. So it looks a little more pouty. Ooh. It's always nice to clean up with the tool that you use to put on your base. I always like to do that like kind of around the cheek products and along the jawline so that 
They just look a little more blended. And for mascara, so this is so this is kind of a look where you don't really need to use mascara if you don't want to, and if we're, and or if you're pressed for time. But I'm just gonna put on a light coat, my Tower 28, just on the top lashes. I kind of go through phases where I can't really be bothered with mascara. I just find it kind of cumbersome because I do these kind of looks a lot, like these very quick, skin focused effort like kind of effortless chic themed kind of looks but then sometimes I go through these phases where I feel kind of naked without mascara and I'll just be like wearing a lip gloss a concealer and a mascara and that's my whole look and one of the reasons I really like this mascara is because it gives a lot of punch in a very short amount of time like your lashes look really good with just like the smallest amount and yeah, it's just really quick and it's really easy. Okay, so that is it. That is my like five to 10 minute minimal makeup look that I've, had, I've been getting a lot of compliments on this. Like I know that I'm doing a really good job with my makeup or the products are performing in the way that I want them to when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup and people are like, your skin looks amazing. So yeah, I really think that it's just like how incredible the NARS Tinted Moisturizer is and how incredible that Giorgio Armani uh, sheer fluid? Is that what it's called? The fluid sheer glow enhancer. Yeah. Wearing that as like a like a glowy primer on your cheekbones. Like look how much that sings through. And then you can just amplify it with another cream highlighter. Um, but that's kind of it. Yeah. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed and ask me any questions or suggest anything in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!